this is Aquafrost coming to you, and this is my new suit, Kilo. He was originally made by Sleek Star. I ended up getting him as a Christmas present for my wonderful husband, and decided to do a refurb, just kind of touch him up and make him look better. So this is the new and improved Kilo. Here is a picture of what he used to look like. Had a, you know, the fur was a different color on the face, um, and just kind of didn't have a whole lot of build to the face. It was still a wonderful looking suit and Sleek Star did a wonderful job and I just wanted to update him a little bit. Also made new hands with wonderful claws which I've never had before. I adore this suit and the character is great. So much fun to play. So this FWA 2017, I got to debut him as my new suit and had a wonderful time. This FWA was very special to Alec and I. Alec, uh, as some of y'all don't know, Alec is my husband. Uh, we just got married in December and um, it's been a wonderful four months. Uh, we actually met at FWA two years ago. So this convention has a special place in both of our hearts. This year was just so much fun being able to celebrate our marriage. Probably one of our favorite cons yet. Something else really cool about this convention was I got a couple badges. I got this beautiful badge of my new baby from Toki. Um, and it's so cute, it depicts him so well, and I, I just love it so much. So thank you, Toki. I love you, you're such a good friend. The other badge I got was of my main character. This is Aqua, Aqua Frost. Uh, this is my main persona. This is from Jinx in Boots, if y'all know her. She is such a sweetie, and she just has the most beautiful art. And I finally got something for, from her after a couple years of wanting to get art from her. And this is just absolutely gorgeous. She did such a good job. Yay! The highlights of this con for us were that we got to just spend a lot of time with friends. Our roommates were incredible. If y'all don't know Apari, he's got a YouTube channel. Link is below. I'm going to put his link down there. He does some incredible videos. Uh, he and I met at AC a couple years ago, and he is one of our closest friends, and I really consider him like a brother to me, and Alec does too. Um, his parents came and roomed with us too, and they're wonderful people. Uh, I love them very much. They're totally my family. Uh, I just adore them. Other highlights of this convention. We had two, I guess three, three friends that are not furries come to this convention with us. It was just a great opportunity to kind of show them what we love to do, and let them understand a little bit more about who we are and, and what we enjoy about the fandom. The dances were awesome. Every year that's what we look forward to. This year we were a little bit upset. They didn't have the first suit floors because that's one of our favorite things. Last year I got to compete in the, the first floor wars ever in Alex suit, which we named Alexis. If you want to watch the video of me dancing, that link is below. So this year was kind of sad not to have that. Dance competition was phenomenal as always. Just always love to, to see our friends out there and to see all the, the performances. Another big highlight for me at this con was I got to suit swap. If y'all know Also, this yellow dog here, um, she and I have become really good friends and she let me wear her suit around FWA and let me tell you, it was such a blast. It's such a beautiful suit. The character is great. Um, also as a person is just a phenomenal person. This was one of our favorite cons because we really felt like as a whole this con we got to reconnect with friends so much better. It was just so cool. Um, we met some of the coolest people this year. So thank y'all who came to see us and hang out with us. We love you guys so much. Alright y'all. That being said, FWA was awesome. 10 out of 10. We loved it. However, there is one thing that everyone needs to do after a convention. You wash your fursuit. Fursuits get nasty and sweaty and gross. People are touching you all over. You don't want that kind of bacteria and sweat and everything to infest your suit. So today, I'm going to be do doing something that I've always wanted to do, as weird as this sounds. In suit. I am going to get into the bathtub and wash my suit while I'm in it. <laughs> so I'm excited to see what happens and I'm also excited to get this suit nice and clean and washed up 
after FWA. That being said, let's do this, y'all. First step in washing your fursuit is to make sure you have the correct detergent. A lot of people like to use wool light. You just gotta make sure it doesn't have softener in it because it will ruin the fur and make it really gross. Let's test out this water. Make sure your shower is not on. My gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, I wish you could see this. <laughs> Boop! One of those dipping birds. One of those dipping. Soak this dog up. It's good. All right, what's next, legs? Good. Right. That's what we get the soap out. Whoa. Yes. Good. The water is literally black. Look at this. Chappelle cameraman. That is that the water. Is, that is what's in your fursuit, people. Get it out. In the skin. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, oh my god. Oh, look at that waterfall. So we've done it. We've washed Hilo's fursuit. This is something that everyone needs to do, not necessarily in suits, but you do need to do it. Because Please wash you your suit. This water. Look! Look at this! Look at this, cameraman! Look! Look at this water! That's gross. Now we're a clean dog, and we're ready for the next convention. <laughs> Yay! All right, I'm gonna do the classic dog thing. Do it. Oh man, everything is wet. Woo! Everything in this room is soaking wet. Even the camera's wet. Thank you all so much for watching my video today. I really appreciate it. Feel free to comment, subscribe, thumbs up. Thank you all again and stay cool. Hi Paul. <laughs>